The Kabbalists that want to explain to us what love is, they give us an example of love of fish. To love fish, it means to eat fish, loving to use them, and that's it. To live as a fish, it means to be satisfied by what you have. We see that this life is a very simple life of self-sustenance. To eat and as if half asleep, to be that way. To reproduce according to the inner urge of nature and that's that. And this is also how we have to refer to our whole life. That truly, a person who reaches despair of this whole world, and in this whole world, he has an insipid flavor in all his senses. He starts revealing that his attitude towards this whole world and everyone, it's love of fish. They can't fulfill him, but there is something else beyond this where probably there is love, true love. And then he starts to reveal from the internality of his heart that there is something beyond this world that he is attracted to, that he gets his fulfillment from there in endless power, intensity, and place. Then the sensation of love breaks through, encompasses a person entirely. Thus that in this final love, when a person achieves the final degree of his development, which is called the degree of love, by this he encompasses the whole world, including the whole world inside him, still vegetative, animate, speaking, all people, all souls, and thus starts to understand that from love of other, achieving the love of the Creator is his final degree of development, and this is actually what we're drawn to in our search in this world. And all of our searches, all of our frustration, all of our thoughts, even subconsciously, are towards this love existing between man and the Creator. And when we look at fish or at animals, we have to understand that for the time being, we're in the same feeling, on the same degree. And bit by bit, lately, there is a deficiency revealed in humanity to reach the degree of the love of the Creator, the eternal and so-called whole love.